Now, the other big story, which I got to talk about because I still don't know what's going on. In conjunction with WWE's decision to get more control over how their talent uses third-party social media platforms that can also generate them personal revenue, the company will be taking over control of the talent's Twitch accounts over the next four weeks. The story was first reported by Wrestling Inc., confirmed by Dave Meltzer. While WWE will have control over those accounts, those individuals will get a percentage of the revenue generated, which will count against their downside guarantee. What is going on here? You're telling me. We got Twitch right here, by the way. It's 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 our Twitch account. So let's just say that I'm a WWE wrestler, and I'm running my Twitch account here, and just throwing out a number, let's say that I'm generating $5,000 a month doing my, my Twitch account. And keep in mind, like, I'm doing a wrestling show talking about WWE. A lot of these WWE wrestlers, they're doing this under their real names, and they're, like, playing video games or whatever. They're not doing anything that has anything to do with wrestling. So you're telling me that WWE is going to take over my Twitch account. They're going to take a portion of my revenue. I'll presume half. And then the other half, the other $2,500, that's not going to go to me, but it's going to come out of my downside guarantee. You kiss my ass. All I can tell you, all I can tell you, and this actually happened the last time all of the social media stuff came out. I did contact some folks in WWE that had Twitch accounts. And they had heard about it, but nobody had told them anything. And it was very much the same yesterday. They all heard about this, but I can't say all of them because, I, like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. There's a lot of people that have Twitch accounts, but the people that I talked to was like they didn't know anything. And I guess everyone is just doing this wait and see. Now I do know that you know to a person. And this is not just for me, but from other people I know that have also contacted people that, that have Twitch accounts in WWE. I mean, everybody is rightfully outraged. You're way too nice discussing this. This is insane to me. It is one thing if there is a talent using their WWE name and utilizing all of their intellectual property to get themselves over and get themselves cheers and to make money. I can understand WWE's frustration in this. I can understand that WWE wants to, has basically just discovered this and discovered how we could play for them, and they want to change how they do their set. Fine, fine. Anybody new to it, fine. If you are using your government name and mostly playing video games and really just only fielding questions because there are wrestling fans with wrestling questions, I, I don't even know what to say other than... You're, they're already not independent contractors. They continue to win on that one in court, or they continue to be able to hold people at arm's length with it. Fine. This is just begging for it from WWE to have somebody slap them back. And if Paige certainly seems like she is going to be one that fights this absolutely tooth and nail, and deservedly so, this is a massive overstep in what they believe that they have any right to tell a talent what to do this is bizarre and if you want well may i jump just, in for a hold moment on. no no let me because i'm just about done if you want to start signing talent to 360 deals essentially that's what you're going to do because you want to now legislate what they do in their spare time on Twitch, because you look at it as a money making and a, a a advertising revenue. However, WWE wants to look at this. That's fine. Then tear up the old deal. You need to figure out a way, and you need to negotiate with these independent contractors what the worth of Twitch is to them before you can just go ahead and step ahead and decree something here about things that have nothing to do with you. Because if Austin Creed had been doing this and he's using Consequences Creed and he's using his real name to play video games with, frankly, that's got nothing to do with WWE or, or Xavier Woods or any of that sort of stuff. Well, if you want to know why I didn't get more angry about this, it's because this makes so little sense to me that my feeling is there must be something lost in translation here. Okay? Oh, boy. Now, listen, I could be wrong. Hold you on probably a second. are. I could be wrong. 
hold on, I could be wrong, but if their claim is that if, let's just say Miro was still in WWE, if their claim is if you're going to be playing video games and you're being the character Rusev and you're using Rusev in your Twitch name, then we are taking control of it because it is our intellectual property and we will pay you a portion of this off of your downside guarantee. If that's if that's the case, then they have every right to do that. Time out. They have Hold every on. right to Hold tell wait, 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 you wait, wait. to cease and desist it. They do not have every right to go, well, now we're going to take it over and you need to do this. No, they don't have to do a damn thing. I don't have to be on Hold Twitch. on a second. Hold on. Good. They, if their claim is that Miroslav Barnyshev is not allowed to have a Twitch account under his real name and pay video games unless he gives them 50% of his revenue and the other 50% comes out of his downside guarantee as the character Rusev, then absolutely, positively outrageous, okay? The last time this happened, the last time this happened, if I recall correctly... The clarification was that they didn't want you making money off of your professional wrestling name. Fair. On these cameos or whatever, okay? Absolutely fair. So this news here, I mean, listen, maybe it's true, maybe it's not, but I asked people yesterday, and nobody knew what was going on. So we need to wait for clarification of what exactly WWE thinks that they're doing here. It may just be that they're... Their decision here is if you're doing this under your wrestling name and making money as your wrestling character off Twitch, then we are taking it over and we will give you a cut out of your downside guarantee. And if you don't like it, you either change it to your real name or you shut it down. Okay? That would be fair. This claim that Miroslav Barnyshev is not allowed to to have a Twitch channel unless he's giving WWE half of his revenue and the refs... I mean, this... No way. I can't even believe that they're even going to try to do that. I feel like wires must be crossed here. But the problem is we've both talked to people, and the biggest problem is the fact that it's the whole thing's a gray area, and they're trying to work this thing. Not only are they trying to work it on the fly, they're trying to work it aggressively on the fly, and that's what really sticks in people's craws, is that they really don't even know what the hell they're talking about or what they're doing yet, yet they want to make these decrees, and they want to take things over that don't have anything to do with them. Nobody would be arguing that if you are using WWE's intellectual property that they don't have a right to say something or to shut it down. But to try to work this stuff on the fly in the way that they're doing it is wrong. If you want to tear up contracts and now include that you have to do social media underneath your WWE name, or if you can't do anything at all because we think it's going to be some sort of, we want to take care of our any threat to our flank here, so no, under your the, the guise of your contract, you're not going to be able to do anything even under your your uh, your government name fine if that's what you want to do but the fact that they're just coming up with a, a bunch of stuff and throwing it up against the wall that essentially only hurts the the talent and the talent is seeing money that may be taken away from them that is free and clear from wwe no <laughs> they well they, yes they may no be getting that's their why wires my point crossed, is but to me they're not getting their wires crossed they're just boldly going out there and throwing some crap against the wall because they feel as though that they're empowered enough to do it and i have a feeling this but one might blow up in their face well, if it is if it is them trying to take control of someone twi uh, using a Twitch channel under their real name, yes, this will blow up in their face. What I'm saying is I don't have enough information right now. A month ago, they did allegedly claim that they owned everyone's real names. But you know what? They backed off on that very quickly. And because you know why? I think <laughs> it was made abundantly clear that they don't own everyone's real names. Uh -huh. So I find it hard to believe that they would back off on that stance and then a month later say, we're going to take over Twitches that are under people's real names. It doesn't make any but sense. But you also shouldn't it be absolutely surprised that this sense. is a sloppy shop situation. Here's a sloppy shop scenario of you. Now you're trying to do something. Don't be surprised at that. You know, you may be, they may have got wires crossed. They're just trying to flex and they're seeing it blow up in their face here. I mean, we've also had a bunch of people that now have two Twitter accounts. They have a Twitter account under their wrestling name, and they have a Twitter account under their real name. So that tells me that the wrestlers believe 
that if I'm doing something under my real name, the company has no control over it. Because otherwise, there's no point in making a second Twitter account under your real name if you believe that, in fact, somehow, this company owns the real names of their independent contractors. It's preposterous.